that's her sort of interviews again. It, it never seems to go away, but right now we're doing a lot of them. And I think we have some tips to give people who are going into interviews how to present themselves better, perhaps. I think so. There are probably 10 or 15 things, questions you should be preparing for. There's always going to be one that comes out of left field mm. that you haven't thought about. But the first thing in most interviews that people will ask you is tell us about yourself. Remember, you're not a candidate from this world. You're not looking to do, <laughs> give, come up with the world peace scenario. But do have some important facts about yourself. If this is your first job, then you've got to talk a little bit about your studies. Mm. But tell a little bit about yourself. Put something personal in, but don't get too personal. Mm. It's so it is something that you've got to balance. Then another question that a lot of companies ask is, why us? Why would you like to come and work for a company like Axis? What do you know about us? You better know something. So again, be prepared for that. Yes, take the trouble to go onto their website, know a little bit about them, and be able to explain in our situation, for instance, why you'd like to work for a software company exactly. or a software company that specializes in people management. You need to know that. Otherwise, you're just going to every interview on the planet and not actually show why you're there. And we've had that too. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. Then, why are you looking if you're in a job? Mm. Because if you're currently in a job, you must have a good reason for wanting to change. Yes. And I think have that, have that ready for the company. And then I think a lot of companies ask, why should we hire you? Mm. Why would we want you here every single day? Have some kind of an answer to that immediately. And not because you're a perfectionist. I think that's the one. <laughs> People often ask you where you would like to be in five years. My question is always, it's now your 65th birthday, you've got all your grandchildren sitting around you. What would you like to tell them about your career? Something along those lines. Think about how you want your career trajectory to be. And then you'll be able to give a good answer to that kind of question. Um, your dream job. What is your dream job? What do you really want? What makes you get up in the morning? What is the atmosphere around you? Do you want to sit in a corner and just code? Or do you want to be with people? If you're one of the 6,999,000 people are a people person, you can say so. <laughs> but bear in mind that that answer is the same answer everybody gives. Mm. If you want to stand out, think of some different ways of expressing yourself in terms, of, in terms of that. And if this isn't your dream job that you're being interviewed for, explain why you think it's a step in a process. The company needs to have an idea of whether you're a two-year person or a forever person Very and whether so. it's worth investing in you for the two years, and often it is. Yes. People also ask what, makes, what stresses you out, what makes you angry, how do you handle difficult situations. Have you ever had to handle one before? So again, that's quite an important one um, to talk about. Some companies will also ask you what salary you're hoping for. Yes. A lot of companies will base the salary they're offering you on what you're currently earning. That's the time to have the conversation saying, I'm not comfortable with my current salary for a lot of reasons, and I would prefer that, that you look at me individually yes. and not there. And then, Kathy, I think probably the last but by no means least have questions prepared absolutely and do not say I've asked all my questions already in the pre-interview or when we first came in before you came in my future line manager and they've all mm. been answered honestly that's not good enough you have to have questions to ask at the end of the interview we've talked about you for the last hour of the interview mm. ask us about us that also yes. leaves you with a good the company with a good feeling that this person is interested in more than just the job they're interested in the company and anything else to do with them mm. and then may i say good luck and i hope it goes well when you're going into interviews <laughs>